hey guys welcome to automotors technica so today i'm going to show you a diy project of converting a cfl tube light which works on six volts uh, the powered through the lead acid battery and these batteries were sold earlier 20 years ago and it has got an incandescent lamp which is of six volts with a switch so front and back the battery is not there now because this is quite old and i had this tube light lying since uh, 23 years so this was purchased from Huli, and uh, at that time people uh, from a uh, farming background is to buy such kind of stuff uh, for the fields as well as these kind of tube lights in the night when they use it at homes as a lantern so this is a small tube light very lightweight with two uh, mounting holes and this can be mounted in this way and this will be driven by a 6 volt uh, jack pin which is powered from this battery so this uh, battery uh, this torch will have a battery which is of lead acid and that is of 6 volts so that used to be of very less life if you maintain it properly it will come for a year or it will go within 6 months so these were like uh, uh, high power torches but when you use it on this it will come for one and a half hours uh, as a duration a source of light and uh, if you use leds so that you know that they are uh, less power consumption devices so what i have did is i purchased a strip of uh, uh, 50 leds which is into two so one two three four five from here this is one strip is 50 and you have 50 so uh, these work on a uh, 4 volt these are SMD LEDs so I'm using one of the strips and will fit into this with a lithium ion battery so that the power consumption is less and you know that these LEDs will give equivalent brightness more than the CFL so there is a lot of uh, power uh, savings in LED and here if, if you count there are 10 LEDs in one single strip so what happens here is if I use a 3.7 volts lithium ion battery along with a switch fitted and one strip that will be more luminant than the existing CFL so I'm going to remove this CFL the boosting circuit inside which is present and I'm using this mirror and will build a LED lantern as a DIY so stay tuned I'll be showing you what I'm going to do in the coming session thank you so step number one I have disintegrated this uh, CFL tube light from the housing that is nothing the cabinet and this is found to be an aluminium strip which will be useful for uh, fixing the LED lamps now the components like this is the voltage booster because this is a CFL which works on uh, the gaseous state uh, where the electrons are bombarding onto the tube and there is a glow so that is called cathode ray type of principle and we have a 6 volts uh, supply where it is connected here and that is a transistor which generates uh, the switching and it generates a high voltage between two points that fires up the tube light that is CFL tube light so now what we are going to do is we are replacing this these are of no use there is an insulator because this was stuck on or uh, fastened up using a nut onto this aluminum plate and that aluminum plate was about to be a heat sink for this now what we are going to do is we are going to use LED strips on this aluminum plate that will act as a heat sink and a separate circuitry for charging the lithium ion battery and a switch where it can be embedded and I am going to see what needs to be drilled in this uh, cabinet so stay tuned for the next stage this is stage 3 and uh, we have soldered the two strips of LED and it's been joined for the length and there's a plus and minus 
plus a charger has been tinned to the two wires and one lithium ion battery which is of uh, 3.7 volts and this has been soldered with two so the next stage will be the connection with the circuit which charges the battery from this uh, charger which will be connected to the usb 5 volts and then we will assemble all the modules into this housing along with the reflector so this led strip will be fitted on the reflector and it will be good to go i believe so i have tested this with the battery close and we have to see the charging facility now and this is the soldering iron which i'm using with the flux and the lead and tin 6040 thank you uh, we'll be continuing in the next video stage so guys uh, the project has finished up to this level that it is just uh, n minus one stage where uh, we are just checking the connections uh, here is the 5 volt usb charger and there is a jack for charging it will give you 5 volts and there is a lithium ion battery charger where red in led is already glowing that means the battery here a lithium ion a battery 3.7 volts is charging through this charger circuit and it has got an overload protection as well as uh, protection from when the battery is fully charged it will stop and there is a green led here after the battery is full charged it will glow as green so there is another uh, micro usb port which i am not using it and this will go to the led strip and i have put a switch uh, there was certain man work re required for uh, putting the switch because I had to drill a hole in the chassis and another hole in the chassis for one for the switch and one uh, round hole for the jack pin for uh, charging the lantern. Now the problem is I am testing this just for how much heat is generated by the board and uh, an initial test of this LED strip that I show you. So when it charges it gives more voltage so if it can withstand or not I am just testing this. Yeah that works fine. And if I switch it off, the voltage will be exactly at 3.7 volts that can also drive the LED. So this is a lantern with self-powered uh, lithium ion battery. So all the connections are working fine and good. Now the last stage will be the assembly of it. And the final stage will be the testing for how long this battery can deliver the power to the LED strips. So stay tuned. So I'm just testing how much is the voltage the battery is giving that is 4.05 volts so that happens because the battery is uh, specified as 3.7 volts so this is when the system charger is switched off so when I start uh, the charging point so it started charging so the voltage comes to be 4.18 so that's the potential if it is increase that means the charge is working and the battery is charging so once the battery gets fully charged at a threshold there will be one green led and the charging will stop so that is a protection for the battery and that time the user will be indicated that the charging is full and he can plug off from the mains so there is no direct connection to the mains you need to use a 5 volt charger or you can use the laptop it can be connected because this is just a USB pin uh, type A connector and you can use it anywhere. So this is the universal lantern that I am going to design which is revived from a CFL tube after 23 years. So stay tuned. Just completed the assembly of this and you can see the battery is being stuck with uh, a two-sided tape and the top black one is the switch which is projecting outside 
here and the charger port is on the right side of it so and here the circuit board and the leds are on the other side so that they can be seen uh, through the plastic when they glow and here is the reflector with the strip so uh, this is the final stage i'm just going to fix it and show you the final output of it old cfl tube uh, this is working still i'm not going to use it and this will be like an antique piece because nobody uses a cfl nowadays and uh, to show you how it uh, glows i'll just switch off the light It's a huge illumination here and there's much difference compared to the CFL. Uh, the brightness is almost doubled than the CFL and this was uh, consuming more power like uh, uh, almost uh, 6 volts into 1.5 amperes. So it will be like somewhat around 18 watts and these are very very small but I'm yet to uh, conclude the power ratings because I have to measure the current through ammeter and uh, the next testing will be the charging time and the discharge time how long it will glow and uh, please stay tuned for the further updates thank you so here is the final assembly of the LED lantern an emergency lamp and this has come well the holes are still intact i have a switch here i have a supply and uh, if i switch on here is the glow this is this has come fantastic i believe because uh, changing it from cfl to led and self-powered with uh, lithium ion battery and it can be recharged as well i believe that's the nice uh outcome or throughput from whatever the hard work has gone into a lot of soldering a lot of uh, drilling and i believe i'm happy that uh, this is really a very useful subject where i can do more on further diy which will help you all if you like this video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe my channel Automotors Technica. This will motivate me and help me to do such videos in future. So now uh, coming back, this was purchased in uh, approximately uh, 23 years ago from Hubli, which was a CFL tube and I have converted it to the LED with SMD LEDs. Thank you so much.